Hi, my name is Tim Whipple. I'm a landscape photographer from Joplin, Missouri, and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I look forward to teaching you how to use Photoshop and Lightroom to achieve your creative goals. So let's get started. All right, we're going to learn how to use the gradient fill adjustment to today to add some sun rays to this picture. First thing we need to do though is we need to make some kind of housekeeping things here. I need to make sure that my foreground color here is white and doesn't really make any difference on the background for this, but we'll set it to white and black. And if that's not the case, let's say we had a color in there. If you press the D key, that will change you to your default foreground and background colors, which are black and white. And then to switch those around, if we hit the X key, that switches our foreground and background colors. You can also, also do that over here by clicking on your default colors, the little black and white boxes there. And then the double-sided arrow will toggle you back and forth. But we want to make sure we've got white as our foreground color. Then we're going to come up here to the gradient tool and make sure that we got the gradient tool and click in the gradient here. And in here in our gradient editor, editor window, we want to make sure that we have the foreground to transparent pick. So we've going, we're going from white to transparent and click OK. All right, you can do this all later, but it's kind of nice to start out that way. Now let's go down to our gradient fill adjustment. It's the second one here. Click on that. And that brings up the gradient fill. We're going from white to transparent and doesn't look anything like sun rays, but stick with me. We're going to get there. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to change our style here. We're going to go to the angle. And what we get here with the angle is we go from our white and then we kind of go around clockwise here to transparent. We're going to take this little point here and we're going to put it right where our sun is, which is kind of peeking through that tree up there. So we're going to move that up here, which is kind of cool. If you have this box closed, whoops, <coughs> excuse me. Let's open that back up and go to angle. If you have the box closed, you cannot move this. And let's see if I can do that right this time. There we go. So now I can't move that layer. So it it's kind of a little hidden feature there. You may not have known about it. If you have it open, then you can come in here and drag it anywhere you want. And that works too, like uh, if back on our linear, we can drag that up and down as well. Okay, let's go back to angle though. Okay, we want that little point to be right there where the sun is showing through. Click OK. Now, we're going to switch the mode on this gradient fill to screen and the reason we're going to do that will become apparent here in a minute but when we go to screen only the white is going to show and the black is going to be transparent and we're going to change this gradient so that'll make a little bit more sense here in just a second so let's open that back up let's click in our gradient and there is a feature here that says gradient type solid, which is what most of the time we use. Matter of fact, I didn't even know this existed for a long time. But if we open this gradient type, there's another choice in here called noise. Let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens. Nothing pretty. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe that is pretty, <laughs> but it doesn't look like sun rays, so that's what we're going for here. Yeah, I'm actually recording this just a little after Easter, and that looks like Easter colors to me. All right, so 
that's not what we want. So we're going to go down here to the color mode and we're going to choose something called HSB. And I'm using Photoshop CC and I think in the earlier versions that may be called HSL. But what it stands for is Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. And we have the sliders down here for Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. What we want to do is take all the color out of this and just have a black and white. So we're going to come to the Saturation slider here and move it from the right to the left. And wow, that doesn't look so good, does it? But you can see that we did change our gradient from black or from this multicolored Easter look to the black and white. And the reason you're not seeing black on your screen here is because we have it set to screen mode. And when it's in screen mode, anything that's black becomes transparent. So that's why we changed that so we could actually see through this. But that doesn't look real good. Good thing is we have a button down here called Randomize. And when you click on it, it randomly picks a gradient here of all these different shades in here. And we can just keep clicking that until we find something halfway decent. And if you uh, want to, you can actually come up here and name this, we'll say Sun Rays, and then click New, and that will add that to your preset. So anytime you want to come back to this, you can actually just click on that. I have a few different ones in here that I've already done. Just different examples. I think I like that one a little bit better. So we're just going to use that one. But you can if you came back in here and you didn't like that, you could still come down here and randomly choose different ones until you found one that was to your liking. But I saved this one out earlier. I kind of like the, the fact that there's some differentiation in there between the sun rays. I think it looks pretty natural. So we're going to click OK. So there we go. We got our sun rays coming through the trees here. One other thing that I would normally do if I was just going for this kind of look is I would add another layer on top of that and make sure my foreground color was white, come up here to my brush, set it to a pretty large size here. This is at 1707. This is a full scale image here. And I would set the opacity to somewhere around 50. And then on this new layer set to normal, I would just click maybe once or twice to just kind of give that blown out look that the sun is shining through there. I think it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Usually when I'm working with an image, I try to not totally overpower it, but I try to see what's there but maybe really subtle and then enhance it. And in this case the sun was behind this tree and there were no sun rays because there was no fog or anything in the air, but I could see how the sun would look if it was coming through there. And so I thought this would be a pretty good image for what we're trying here. The other thing I would do to make this look a little bit more realistic is come back to our gradient and take the opacity down to where it's it's not overpowering. You just barely see it in there. I think it adds a little bit and looks fairly natural. Um, but there's a lot more things we could do to it to make it look much more realistic than this. But that gives you kind of an understanding of how you can use the gradient fill adjustment layer to add sun rays to your landscape pictures. Alrighty, hope that helped, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, hope that helped you out. Make sure and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up on doing all kinds of things with the landscape photography. Thanks for coming by. Again, make sure and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.